Bro, today is a bad day. Man, why is this, you know, why is life getting so bad, man? <clears throat> you know, my first love died 2019. My dad died when I was 18, when I was in jail. Uh, two po our DMX was just pronounced dead. He has passed away. Man, let me tell you something, man. He, re he represented Jesus Christ. He represented God. He preached God all the time. He gave God the glory. He was targeted. That's my, that's my belief. I know he overcame his addictions. And I knew, I had, a, I had a feeling that he could potentially be targeted. And because of his previous addiction, people could lace him with something and kill him and get rid of him. And it would just seem like an overdose because he has a history of addiction. This is why I never, when I never touched drugs, I grew up around my dad doing needles in front of me, smoking crack. He had me selling crack for him. 14 years old and I just watched a video of, two, of, of DMX talk about, I think he might have been talking about his dad, somebody that he loved that gave him a hit of crack. And when I was 14, you know, my dad offered me a hit because he wanted to show me. Um, he said he wanted to show me what it was like uh, so that I would never do it. Um, so I don't build the curiosity up and do it myself. And I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, my dad's passed away when I was 18. So rest in peace. But I grew up like that. And I grew up off DMX and Tupac. Hell is Hot, that was one of my favorite albums. Um, man, I can't believe this shit, bro. Listen, man, there's no way DMX overdosed and died. He already overcame his addiction. God preserved him. He was late. Somebody killed him. I've witnessed this happen to people right in front of me. Um, where I was talking to a guy, smoking a joint with a guy, and this... Other guy comes over, says something to him, gives him something, he goes in the bathroom, never came out of the bathroom, he was found dead the next morning in that bathroom at 11 a.m., and that guy disappeared, never seen him again. People knew what, what he did because he gave three different people the same bad stuff, and they all died that day, but people do this on purpose, and, and the ambulance came and just said it was an overdose, but people are lacing people with fentanyl and killing them. It's like a license to kill right now and all the hospitals and the analysis, uh, anatomy thing done, or whatever you call it when they find out how the person died, the only thing they can see is a drug overdose. Um, it's hard to determine a motive. So, rest in peace DMX, man, but that's my opinion. Um, I didn't see that coming. I thought that he, you know, God was working on him, healing him, and, you know, he overcame his addiction, and I believe that he did, and I believe that, I honestly believe that somebody laced his weed or something like that. I know he smokes, but see, this is why you can never touch drugs, because if you do, anybody can kill you. I never touched no hard drugs, never was a drug user, because it, I was traumatized from watching my dad do needles in front of me. And people dying in front of me, overdosing, and my first love, and my cousin overdosed. I have severe trauma around drugs, sold drugs. Um, I have karmic debt attached to that, pain attached to that, that I ruined lives selling drugs to. And then I took losses. So I really understand that world very deeply. And I don't believe that DMX was... Uh, at the time doing I don't believe he was doing drugs I seen that he overcame it God preserved him and he was straight and he was gaining weight and he was back in the mix and he was you know he was just about to do a bounce back I believe and I think um, he was taken out when somebody laced him rest in peace DMX